I love that you brought up asking questions, yeah. Tico, because again, as leaders, that oftentimes, you know, we get it backwards. Again, like these old ways of doing things that aren't serving us, it's time to let go of this idea that I'm the boss and I've got to have the answers. Lead by force and not by examples, examples and inspiration. Oh, and inspiration and asking questions is an amazing skill. So one of the things that I recommend for leaders, if they are, you know, learning and grooming, is the model, it's uh, it's called leading out of drama. And so it's essentially teaching these compassionate accountability skills. And it's a very simple process. It's, you know, be open, um, you know, whether it's acknowledging somebody else's emotions or acknowledging your own feelings and asking for what you want, you know, like I like this, I don't like that. And then asking questions that are really curious, right? Of like, what do you think we should try here? Like, how do you want to move forward in this situation? So what we're doing is we're creating that collaboration. We're inviting Inviting people in to make solutions instead of like bringing down yeah. the hammer, right? But it does ha also have to include um, the cl very clear boundaries. So that's where the accountability comes in of being really clear about our boundaries, right? So if we say, wow, I don't like this, like, what do you think we should try next? Because it's important to us to have a healthy culture. And if you continue losing your temper in the salon, we're not going to be able to continue working together. And so it's all three of those pieces. It was developed by a really cool team out of Newton, Kansas. So if you're a podcast listener, like I'm guessing many of them are, uh, you can look for uh, Nate Regeer's podcast. Um, there is a book called uh, Conflict Without Casualties, which is awesome. So if you like to read, it will walk oh, you through. Definitely. Yep. Um, there's also blogs that you can sign up for Nate's blogs. Um, you know, if you are in the situation, so many of my clients have, you know, read the book and then they've come back and they're like, okay, I get the steps, but I'm really struggling to put them in practice, you know, and you want that personal trainer, I call it, right? You want somebody to come in and like help you and your team do the reps together. Um, that's the work that I do then. Um, and it's important to me to know that the people I work with will actually do the work, right? So sometimes I get calls and people are looking for me to wave my magic wand and they're like, how are you going to fix this? I'm like, oh, I'm not. You're going to fix it. It's yeah. your business. Right? It's I your team. I can't do the sit-ups for you. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> If it were possible for somebody else to do sit-ups and me to have a six-pack, I would... I would love to pay someone to do that for me. Right? Me but it's very I'll pay. much... Yeah. Whatever it takes. Like, how much? I'll pay. I am... <laughs> yeah. So I get it. I get that people are looking for yeah. that. But it's like, I can't do it for you, but I can make it easier. I can guide you through the process. I can support you through the process. I can make it more fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just depends on where you're at. So there's all those tools to... Uh, you know, to really invest in your own learning as a leader. You know what it's interesting about being a business owner? You have to be kind of a psychologist in a <laughs> sense because first you need self-awareness because without self-awareness, don't start a business. Mm -hmm. If you have employees, and you have to learn how to deal with different personalities. Yeah, but first you le 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 need to learn how to do deal with yourself yes. first and For, then uh, others. That's what I'm saying. First, yes. you need to have self-awareness mm -hmm. because if not, you fail really bad yeah. and you have to like people. Otherwise, you just give up because you have so many different personalities in the same roof with different behaviors, different beliefs and to have everybody in the same boat with the same culture, with the same vision, it's challenging. It really is challenging. And <laughs> I, I think it's a challenge worth taking on. You know, um, it's not for everyone to be an entrepreneur. It's not for everyone to be a business yeah. owner. And that's okay. But at some point, you are a leader, you know, in your family, in your community. There is, you know, for me, leadership is not about a title. Right. There are lots of people who open up businesses and they're not leading. You know, yeah. leadership is about can you see where you're at? To your point, do you have self-awareness of yourself? And first, most importantly, um, because if you don't have self-awareness, you can't really be taking an honest look at where your team and your business is. And then True. do you have a vision? Right. So then it's about leading people to your vision you know if you're a leader and you're just trying to be in your place of vision and like holler at people of like get over here it's never gonna work right you have to go meet them where they're at and then you know sometimes take them by the hand and lead them to where you want to go so for me you know helping leaders have those tools of self-awareness of like why do these certain things frustrate you um 
how are you maybe overusing your communication style, which we all do, right? Because it works so great for us. We think it should fit for everybody else. And it does not. not. So it's really about teaching them the self-awareness so they can be self managed um, to really be in a healthy place, right? Of, of your own emotions, of your own motivation, right? We have to figure all these things out of like, how, when we're our own boss, we got to motivate our own self. True. And that, <laughs> that's a skill we need. Um, and that's where we start. And then if you want to motivate your team, you've got to really get diversified in your communication style. You've got to get diversified in your motivational techniques. And a lot of times motivating people is just about using the communication style that we're best for them so you know helping them learn those different styles uh, and be aware of the ones that they don't use that often and then matching it up to the counterproductive behavior they see of their employees I love those light bulb moments because people are like oh that's why I'm like yeah because they're not hearing you they literally are not hearing you because you are not using a communication that they understand exactly